And then grab that jump pack. So I had forgotten that Liam has an appointment today at 10, and it's a two-hour appointment. So I guess we're not going today to get the test, but that sucks. I was prepared for it. Maybe we'll go Monday, but I got to get this thing started. We're going to swap it out because the doors will be going to pick up tomorrow in Virginia. So those are definitely locked in. You get it? So let's get the CRV fired up and get out of here. Still firing it up with the jump pack. But look at that, fires right up. Haven't had time to go get, I need to go get a battery port and I need to go get new shoes. And I just haven't had the time. So we'll get that thing cleaned out, pull this out and then back the truck back up in here. All right, truck's back up there in its home. We're gonna get out of here. We gotta head to Mechanicsburg. Like I said, we'll have all the parts, everything's good. Spending a ton of money to be home this week, but it just has to be done and next week has to be done because I can't get back to work until that community service is done and all my parts are come in but on the bright side we'll have a truck 100% working which is awesome this instrument cluster has been bad since I bought the truck but the gauges stopped working since I did the 12 valve swap because I ended up putting 18 volts through it without a battery so I fried everything so That'll be nice that we'll have that working and then possibly have the cargo light in the back will work too. All right, today's the day for the big road trip. I just need to get into the truck, which damn, keep forgetting about that. Grab some tools and then we'll be out of here. You guys excited for the road trip? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go get doors and seats. Uh, I wanted to get a tarp, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So let's uh, let's get in the truck. Turns out I kind of put the truck in the, in the ditch yesterday and it started to sink and uh whoopsies so we'll get that out later once we get back but we're gonna have the seats and the doors up on the roof so you gotta go to the bank get some money and go pick this stuff up we're cruising we got about an hour and 51 minutes left leave back there he's got a pizza say hi doing good hi. <laughs> so we're going to get these doors we're gonna go get these seats it's raining in pa so i don't know how exactly we're gonna do this but if we get the seats a little wet, we get them wet. I couldn't find my tarp, and ultimately I'm not super worried about it, but we'll see how the CRV does on its first trip. So it's only like a six hour round trip, so hopefully we don't break anything. Or end up like this guy over here getting towed. All right, enjoying your road trip? Yeah. All right. I well, got a toy. Can you uh, here, throw some of the trash away, buddy? There's actually, you know what? Okay, so you threw the pizza box away. All right, cool. So. Fuel is 309 here, as opposed to Pennsylvania where it's 335, but let's get some of this trash cleaned up and uh, go from there. All right, so we just did the fuel mileage, 184 miles, 84.2, divided by like 11.2 gallons. So we got 16.4 miles per gallon out of the CRV. So it's funny, the truck, my two wheel drive truck actually gets better fuel economy than my all wheel drive SUV. It's uh, weird to think about that this thing gets actually not that great of fuel economy. I got it up to almost 18 before. Um, I don't know what the stipulations are this time. I don't know if it's my idle time or what, but we'll see what it is by the time we get back because I'm gonna run it basically all on the highway. And um, we have uh, 77 miles to go, which will put me you know, a little over a half a tank. So we'll try that, see what happens, and uh, check our mileage when we get back. But fuel is way cheaper here than it is in Pennsylvania. 335 for gas. It's 309 here. All right, well, here is the parts truck. Someone on Instagram hit me up, and uh, we got doors, we got front seats, we got these little vent things in the back that I've been looking, and I got a center seat belt so that we don't have to worry about ratchet and strapping kids into the into the uh, the back seat of the truck but there is one door up there we have the car strap up and over back down and then coming over so that's secure we got rubber in between it little mats and then the two front seats and then we'll grab the back seats here i'll show you I'll show you how we got the back seat it's in here it's bungeed so it's not going to go up um you know we're uh, we're going to be using the hook on the back here it says it's rated for something so we might as well use it but that's a sight to see doors so it is a ram 1500 we will uh get that off and get it cleaned up i asked him about the bumper too but then i saw there was a big dent in it so uh yeah we're i guess we're gonna keep the big bumper that 
nobody likes but is definitely worth the protection but if uh anybody needs any parts i guess off of a ram 1500 send me a message and i'll send him a message and get you guys hooked up if you guys need anything appreciate him for helping out because without that we had doors but uh, unfortunately the guy is, is hard to get a hold of so um not the guy that was going to get them for me but the guy that he was going to get them from was hard to get a hold of so but door seats that's down now we just need the instrument cluster and that'll be here by the 19th hopefully before that you can definitely feel the doors on the top and uh back there they had some weight and then since they're sticking straight up you can feel it with the wind it is a pretty windy day but we did end up getting 17.3 miles per gallon so it's a little better than 16 something so that was all highway but half of it was with the doors up in the top well it looks pretty intimidating having doors up there but we made it just waiting for him to come back and uh we'll drop these off in the shop go grab the truck out of its little hole but Hopefully we didn't damage anything on the door, being at the bottom here, because I kind of set it on the metal, but we'll see. So, just scrubbing just a little bit from the weight. So, after this road trip, I know I want to get rid of these mud tires as soon as possible. It's just barely cunt hair right there. You ain't touching though. All right, here be the doors. Here is the seats. We're going to start by pulling door number one, which I'm going to get the door panel off, get the mirror off, get all that. And then we're going to pull because I'm going to pull the, the wheel liner because you can get to the bolts from back behind there. Um, yes, I should realistically pull the fender, but I'm also going to straight this out while, uh, while the door's off. And then I'm also going to pull the back door off as well. So we'll line the front one up and then we'll line the back one up and I want to get this glass out um, while the door's still attached because then I can put it up and down. So that'll be uh, how we do that. Don't do that yet. All right, push down. <laughs> You're strong. <laughs> Jeep life, no door. Door is ajar. You guys should be proud of me. I'm actually using my ratchet guy for once. I'll tell you what, I love this thing. I was supposed to put the window down to get this off first. Whoopsies. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I probably should put a second bolt in, huh? It doesn't like flop. That was a whoopsie. But if you guys ever go to take these doors off, Oh, I don't even know where the handle's at. Ooh. If you're gonna take these things off. So there's a bolt that comes through the back side here. I just took this, pried it, and got it out. So now I'm gonna put the window down and grab these bolts to get this, this whole glass out. All right, we got the window down on the inside. I'm going to try to get this off. Liam, come over here and hold on to this. <laughs> Good job. Now we have Jeep truck. Jeep truck. You don't need doors. I want to sit in here with no doors. Oh man, this is kind of cool. All right, now we're going to try to go get the other doors on. Um, switch out the glass. Shouldn't be too bad, but um, it's it's not really that bad. All right, here's where we're at. Um, I've decided I just want to get the doors on mainly before we pull the seats. Yes, I should do the seats now, but I'd rather just honestly just do the doors. That way one thing's done. I can put her on. I'm going to get her with the heat gun, get the 1500 badge and this off here show her how to do that and then uh, i'm gonna start switching the labels then and then we'll start grabbing the seats and throwing seat belts in all right so a bunch of things have happened uh since we got he my dad got the new my old gvwr sticker back put on and he told me the window wouldn't go down when i bought this so i was like okay you know whatever i figure it's the wire harness well i swapped everything over and i'm like okay well let's i put the, my old motor on and it still didn't work but i pulled the wire harness out and five of the wires were broken 
So I'm in the process of replacing all of that now. Um, and then we can get the window up. The window's swapped over. Front door is done. All right, no idea where the GoPro stopped filming, but like I was saying, um, his window wouldn't go up and down. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, I figured it was in the harness, but I plugged everything in and I'm like, I'm just gonna replace the motor. It's real quick, it's right there, why not? Replace the motor, nothing worked. I pulled his harness out and realized that five of the wires are broke. So we're just taking the old harness, but unfortunately I had already cut the speaker wires. You guys can see here, cause I had aftermarket speakers, but I already cut them. So I'm gonna have to put them back, but not a big deal. So we're gonna get that swapped. Doors are perfect. As perfect as I can get them. And then I'm gonna get this whole thing cleaned up. I need to get the Ram 1500, the, whatever you call that, the, the sticky stuff. I gotta get that off. And then aside from that, then we'll start swapping some seats out. I'm gonna have her go over this with the heat gun and uh, get that all off. But for now, let's, uh, let's get back to tackling this. All right, there you go, guys. We have doors. Unfortunately, I'm gonna, that's locked. Wonder if it unlocks. It does. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go through and fix this wire harness. You can see this, um, wire is broken so i am going to have to fix that uh you can touch it to itself and the window will go back up but yeah so that's going to be a we'll deal with that another day because i want to like refurbish that whole harness and uh yeah that kind of sucks but the price i paid for these doors i'm not going to complain and i was the one who told him that hey this is probably what's wrong with it is your wire harness so i ended up reusing yeah i ended up using his wire harness when i should have just used my old one um but Whatever, yeah, cause like all these have been fixed and that's just how they do it and then they break again. So, poor design by Dodge, but door closes. All right, here's the other back glass. We're gonna get rid of that, get rid of the doors, get rid of like all that stuff. So all this is pretty much just scrap metal at this point. And we are done with everything. Don't need anything else. Now we get to put the seats in. So I can't wait cause I will give them a bath after they're in. Which one's the driver's seat? I think, I think this one's the, I think this one's the driver's seat. Oh, that's already more comfortable. <laughs> it out. I like, I like this a lot more. Might need re, um, re-cushioned like underneath, but he did say these had like 300 and some thousand miles on them. They are the original seats, but they are way better of a condition than mine. And again, like I said, for what I paid for them, I'm not gonna complain. So I did have a number of people that said I should save this, which I get, you know, like like this could be savable, but you guys see up here might've been savable too, but like down here, it is just absolutely gouged. Like that is just brutal. Um, you know, if it's worth your time to save it, but for me, it's just not like this, that's gouged in there. Like that's deep, you know, probably a good half inch of a gouge just right in here so to me it wasn't worth it just replace the damn things and be done with it replacing the back glass was super easy so like i said it's uh looks really good looks really good if you want yeah i'll pull up um all right everything is done in seat we got the center seat belt in come back here we got the center seat belt back here. I'm gonna clean this mess up, put these in tomorrow, which you guys will see because I'm not editing tonight. So I'll, uh, yeah. Got my air compressor back in. We started throwing tools back in here and we're good. So now we have a complete truck. Everything looks good. She is ready to get back on the road besides the instrument cluster. I do need, uh, I'll, I'll wait on that. Once that comes in, everything's good to go. Let's, uh, let's fast forward till tomorrow. Gonna have her put some air in the suspension and we'll get out of here. All right, we're driving the truck home. I got my fiance driving the CRV as much as she does hate it, but this is literally it. Like I, I just need to go give this thing a damn bath tomorrow, make it look good and we're good to go. We'll see how that body filler holds up. If uh, it does anything weird, I might just poke the holes out and just leave it alone. Go get a single wheel bed in a little while, but we'll uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. But really want to get back on the road and get back to work. But at the same time, I mean, I don't. I don't know. I just I, I'm getting antsy. I, I do miss uh, I do miss driving a little bit, but you know, got to do what you got to do. Listen to this turd.
nothing like going into your truck in the morning and realizing you can't get into it because you don't have the right key. And I completely forgot the last thing. Oh, I forgot to put that in too. I forgot to put the screw in for that. But I forgot that I needed to get the tumbler out of the door from the other, from my old door. So we're gonna go over there, do that now. And then I'm gonna put the screw back in this. But yeah, then the interior will be done. Other than uh, we're gonna put the vents in the back too. So we won't have any leaks. Let's, uh, let's keep this vlog rolling. This is day two of the same vlog. And this should be the last restoration video on this thing. Um, I found out that I might possibly be able to buy the community service hours, which will mean that I can get back to work sooner. So if I can just pay some money and not have to stay home, we'll do that. So it should be, I think they said it was like 10 bucks an hour for community service buyout. So I'm gonna see if I can't just buy all 60 hours. So we got Liam with us. Yeah, uh, we had to you know, grab the lockout kit and break into the truck and everything. But aside from that, we're just waiting on an instrument cluster and that's all I need to be able to get back to work other than inspecting the trailer. But obviously I'm a bit waiting on the instrument cluster. I'm gonna have to do that anyway, so. All right, I'm gonna get this window up. Doing the tumbler. Oh, window is up. Grab this. Right there she is. Let's get that thing out. So it wasn't all that bad, but obviously the other door handle was broke, but here's the tumbler. So we're gonna get this thing in. So one bolt here, um, pulled the, there was a blue clip on the other side, but you know, this is uh, this is it. So didn't break any of the clips, luckily, because this one's important. So we're gonna get door panel off. And we'll get the, uh, the move You guys can see up in there. All right, there we go. Just gotta get that tumbler out. So it's in here. I've gotten it out. Now I just need to fight to get it. Let's see where it's at. This one's the one for the Ram 1500, and then this one's mine. So, let's just cut it. Simple as that. You can pull the whole dang thing out. And look at that. Cut it again, because, whoops. There we go. And that junk. Now we'll get the new one back in, and we'll go from there. All right, so this thing, you really need to route this correctly. There's a spot right back behind where you gotta stick the wire through and then pull it through because if not, you guys will see if you do this wrong, your tumbler's right up there with the wire harness and if you do this wrong, you put the window down and you'll rip that out. Luckily, I didn't have to find that out the hard way, but it does work out and uh, yeah, everything's back. I'll put this guy back up, even though I don't agree with this plastic being here, but whatever. I'm a new, we got nice speakers in this thing too. All right, everything is good. We got the door, the window works, everything works. So, really want to get some tint. I'm thinking about it after we got after driving the CRV around. I really love the tint, so I might just go ahead and do that. I miss how I miss how dark it used to be in here. But aside from that, trucks running great. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, like I said, trucks running great. And next thing you guys should see is us working on the trailer and possibly a detail on the truck. Just I want to get the outside clean and everything because the door is obviously someone else's mess. The first thing I like to do whenever I buy a vehicle or buy new parts that are like body panels and stuff, I like to clean it. Same with seats and everything. I, I like to get everything clean. So I don't like uh, sitting in other people's filth. I like to, you know, have my own filth. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have anything you want to see, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. See ya.